Hey everybody, Soybean Farmer here. Been out riding my ATV. I wanted to uh, share some knowledge that I just recently, recently come up on. Uh, what I'm showing you is motor oil specially formulated for ATVs with wet clutches. Um, there's something in here. I don't know whether that will focus or not. But it's a uh, service grade SFSG. I got to looking in the manual because I did know that I had to get the oil changed in this thing. Um, so I was looking in the manual to try to remember whether you checked it with the dipstick screwed in or dipstick screwed out and just dip it in there. And it was screwed out, just dip it in there. But I was looking at the um, oils that they recommended and um, I noticed it was talking about warning danger certain grades of oil will uh, impede the function of the wet clutch. I had never noticed that. <laughs> so uh, I went and searched out that uh, oil with the specific grade that it recommended for it and uh, it makes a big difference. So uh, what, what it does is it just shifts better. Um, I've been out flying around the farm on this thing. This is 450 cc's uh, four-wheel drive. So you, you got a front wheel pulling and a rear wheel pushing. This thing will scoot. I forgot how quick this thing would get down the path. But uh, anyhow, just since I discovered this thing about the oil, different types of oil for you know things, um, I thought I'd bring that up and share that new knowledge. Maybe somebody else will go, oh really? And uh, they'll look in their service manual and find out, oh yeah, sure does. Now for diesels, for tractors, Let's try out my fancy zoom thing again here. Let's see. There we go. That little Ford 4000 sitting over there. Well, since I've owned it, the only thing that's ever been in that is Shell Rotilla. Uh, everybody I talk to about diesel engines tells me that Shell Rotilla has something in it that cuts and breaks down the soot that uh, is a byproduct of uh, diesel fuel, the way it burns in a motor. And uh, so that's all that's ever seen. And uh, my truck sitting here, all it's ever had since I put the uh, short block, well, it was, to me it was a new motor. Went and bought a short block kit and reworked the heads. The only thing that was real aggravation was the carburetor. That thing fought me. I finally said, okay, auto light carburetor, I will take a hammer to you. And I ended up going and buying a Holly. And I was going to take a hammer to that auto light, but it was a $50 core charge on that thing, so I handed it over. The Holly works fine. But uh, ever since I put that uh, short block in this truck, I'm thinking 14 years ago, something like that, all it's ever seen is castor oil or castor X. Um, I don't know how you say that. But usually uh, 1040 in the summertime and uh, 1030 in the wintertime. So uh, I knew about specific, you know, specific oil grades for, you know, big block motors and trucks and uh, things for your tractor. But uh, this was news to me about this wet clutch situation in this uh, ATV right here. Well, this is Soybean Farmer enjoying his day off, making some videos. Thanks for watching, y'all.